hello students uh, welcome back to our classes uh, i know that it is very difficult and the uncertain time and uh, we are trying to resume our uh, course work after this lockdown and uh, i wish that you all have good spirit and good health and uh, let's start again get back to our work and uh, let's finish this together and support each other okay so uh, as you remember that we were in the lecture number four so this is lecture number five or the week five work that we're going to resume from again so i hope that you have remembered all those things that we have learned earlier about uh, wordpress so we will continue to work learn about the uh, wordpress the first thing is the document context that we are going to uh, see uh, just a little bit to review that remember that we have three types of uh, contents one is the post the other one is the media and the third one is the pages posts are more like the dynamic contents pages are more like static things and media of course it's more like uh, images videos and audios so uh, today we will be talking about we have already discussed about these three different types of the contents which are present in the wordpress now we will talk more uh, the details about uh, the posts and pages especially so document context that we will be talking about most of the time if we look at our document that we have uh, created during our previous lectures uh, how to work with the block editor or the note title and so they are all draft if you look at in our admin panel these posts are actually the drafts draft means that they are still under development process we are working on it or the developer or the designer they are working on it they are not the finalized yet and they are not available to the pub general public on your website i mean only you can see being the admin of the uh your wordpress site but the general public cannot see it on the internet so if you want to make them available to the general public then you have to make it publish so only we need to understand the difference between the published and the draft okay so let's click on that particular specific link we go and try to change it so if we come here at this particular specific document and we can add it here when we can add it if we look at on the right side okay so that is our document so this is what we can say that it's a document context we also look at that if we look at the right next to it it's a block you can look at the block context look and look at the document context what is the difference between the block context and the document context in the document context you can see the properties which belongs to the document okay for example if you look at right now the top is a status and visibility visibility is public it means everybody can see it publish it can be published on that specific date we can change it if you want uh, what is the stand format of that particular specific thing we will be discussing in more detail but that's are the things which are like what are the category of that one what is the link for that particular specific uh, document post or the page or what is a tag that has can be applied on that particular specific post so these are the properties of the document level properties of this particular specific document that is open right now in our admin panel if we look at the block level it means that maybe we are talking about this title block what will be the color of that particular block what will be the text alignment of that particular block uh, what will be the size of the font color of the font background so these are more kind of in the block context we have the more properties which are related to the block only but on the document context we have the properties which belongs to the whole document whole post or whole page okay mm. so we will be discussing all these um, different types of the document 
context properties one by one. So this is the document context. First thing is visibility, uh, the status and the visibility of that particular specific document. If we click on that, you have different type of the visibility. One is the public, the second one is the private. Okay, public means everyone can see, private means only visible to the site admins or the editors, uh, the, the, the person that you have added inside our user. So only the editors and the admin can see it or it can be a password protected. We will see that how this work okay so these are the three different types of post visibilities are there the second thing is the publish if you click on that particular specific thing then you can set specific time okay this is a document maybe you have created that particular specific document but you want that it should be available maybe in future for example on the 7th of may 2020 it should be available at that specific time so you set all this prop this property here and it will automatically made publish made public once you hit the public even you hit uh, uh, make it public you publish it that particular specific document then it will be automatically available at that specific time only so you can set that particular specific property. if you set this particular specific publish date and time in the past it will be available immediately to the pub uh, to the public to the general people when you hit this particular publish button okay we will see later on that how we can make them uh, public how we can make them from the draft mode to the published mode so but this is the place where you can set the control the time and the date when your document and when your post on your page should be made public the next thing is uh, again it's a document level I think stick to the top of the blog it means that when the uh, you open your website so that a, a link of for this particular document should be stick to the top of the log or it is a pending review pending review mean that most of the time when you are saying that you have multiple users, editors who are adding the pages and adding the things into your website and you don't and you want to regularize them. And then you have some specific um, trusted editors or trusted uh, people who are going to uh, approve those contents to be allowed on your website. So then you can also have that pending preview or something like that. It means that the editor has added the content and then it asking the trusted people to approve those before they can be made public so these are the some properties the next property if you like would move to trash it mean if you want to delete that particular specific document you don't like it it's no maybe it's an obsolete one it's a very old post or something like that you want to delete it you can delete it so that's move to trash Three revisions again I mean how many times we have revised that particular specific document it also gives you the information of that particular specific document level the next one is the uh, permalink permalink is more like kind of that how your document link the final document link this is more like kind of representing post management quick edit that is the representing your document and of course it will be appended into the what you can say that into your url so you can have so this is what you can set here uh, maybe you if you want to change that particular specific name maybe shorten it down or something like that you can do that it's more like the url or the universal resource locator for your document the next thing is the category so you can apply different categories you can select art learning or the learning or all of them or uncategorized you can uncheck uh, you can uh, apply the category or you can remove the categories so this is the at uh, the document level so you can do that the next thing is tag so again you can apply some tags uh, this best specific is computing or the scientific or the space technology or something like that uh, we also have the document level it's a feature image feature image is more like you can say that when you want to share a link of this particular document over the internet with someone else maybe on uh, Facebook 
maybe on uh, Twitter or maybe on uh, WhatsApp. So you are sharing that particular specific page with some other friends or family members. Then what will be the picture will appear on that Facebook post. So you can set that particular specific uh, feature here and it will be looking like like that. I mean, this is the what you can say that uh, I'm sharing that particular specific link from the YouTube uh, channel of mine in which I have been putting my uh, mobile application development course uh, uh, lectures. OK, so this is more kind of a, the, the image that will be shown uh instead of that particular specific url or the link so that is a set feature image you can set that particular specific thing and whenever you are sharing that particular link <coughs> on the facebook on the twitter so instead of showing that particular specific www.my url instead of showing that particular text as a link it will show that image and also apply the link on that so the people can click on that image and then it will go to your uh, document so that is the uh, the property that we can set using the set feature image the next one is the discussions I mean, do we want to allow this particular page or the post that the people who can come and comment on it uh, they can go on putting some comments over there depending on the requirements so you can also uh, add that kind of a stuff that kind of specific feature in your document so this is our um, what you can say that the document context different properties which only belongs to the document which are applied to the whole document now we come to the how we can make the post publish so we have the post we can do all that editing and once we have done all that editing I mean we are trying to add more uh, documents here I mean we are trying to some embedded documents we are trying to add our uh, YouTube video that we want to put on our put in our page and once we have done all these uh, it show uh, another thing is it show me that particular specific featured image we save that particular specific thing and we can click on the publish and if we look at the document we can see all those i mean it will also check double check that your settings before the publishing especially the visibility and the time at which time you want to make it publish and now if we go to our wordpress website we can see our paste over post over there okay so similarly if we can go back and go to our post so if we look at that uh, this particular specific post let me go back if we look at that particular specific post so it says sticky it means that it is published it is not a draft anymore it is visible on the and st it stick on the top of that particular specific uh, public website now we are going into the another how to work the block editor we are making uh, we are trying to look at we uh, say that uh, the visibility this is a password protected we can provide the password as well and then we can hit the public one okay so we have the visibility and password protected we make it publish again it asks you that you view all those uh, settings that they are correct again if we go back to our uh, website now it will show me and now it also asks that you need to provide a password if you want to access that particular specific page and when you enter then you will be able to see the contents of that particular page otherwise you cannot see that particular specific page so this is another uh, what you can say that the visibility mode okay so this is how you can publish the articles uh, i didn't uh, show you the visibility mode of the private i mean you know that it's a private thing which only the editor or the admin can see it is not going to be published to the general public 
so that you can only see in the admin panel it is not it will never be shown on the public website so these are the three different type of the visibility mode now we will talk about the reusable blocks I mean we have talked we have different types of blocks we can put the text we can put the images we can put the embedded things Facebook posts or the YouTube videos and so on so we have all those different types of blocks that we have discussed in the previous lectures we also make one specific block that we have designed we make it reusable blocks so what the reusable mean I mean it is in the name we can use that same block again and again in the multiple posts or multiple pages so we can turn any block into the reusable block can be used in other posts or the pages once you update it at one place for example you have a usable reusable post block uh, xyz whatever it is so you have put that particular specific block into one post it you have also put that particular specific block into the two different pages so it is present at three different places one is the post two one is the post pages so once you either you go into the post or you go into the page one or page two where that usable reusable block has been used you add it at one place and it will automatically update it in the other places as well so this is the beauty of the reusable block once you update it at one place it will be automatically updated everywhere it is being used it is in the use so let me show you how we can do that so what we can do we can open that particular specific document which is the password protected and let's add another block here okay so we are just trying to add some add a separate rule yeah So if we double click here and double click on that it's separate it has been added we are just going into the block property now if you look at that this is the block context so we are in this block we are talking about that particular specific block context and it contain the properties of that specific block only so here we have the default style of the this separate line now we are saying that we want to use a void line which will cover the whole context so this is a difference between the document block uh, document context and the block context block context only show you the properties which are belongs to that specific block only so we have added a cover block here where we have um, uh, we can apply the title over there uh, my reusable block We can also look at that on the right side it's a block context we can go there and try to change the colors so we want to change the color so that it can be more visible to us we can also change the color setting we have two types of text color or the background color so background color if we want to change it or we can use it clear we don't want anything so we are adding a block and, and then I will show you that how we can make that particular specific block reusable. We also can add some contents. Add uh, we have we have added that cover uh, block. We have title. We also have some contents that we can add here. I think that you can't see it, but once let me finish that particular specific editing in that video. Okay, and then you can see that if I go into that and then try to change the color settings, and it should, it will be more visible to you. So I go to that one, change the color setting, and now you can see that we are going to change that later to see the automatic update. Okay, so uh, now we, and the important thing is that we click on that particular specific, uh, we try to uh, select that particular specific block, click on that three dot button, and then now we are trying to click on that particular specific edge to reusable blocks. Once we click on that reusable block, it will ask you to name that you reusable block reason is that because we are going to use it again and again so we are trying to provide a name so that we can ex access that particular specific reusable block using that specific name uh, it's for our convenience so that we can remember that what we want to use so I give a ninja cover that is the name of that reusable block so it will be 
uh, we, we want to update the system so if we look at that the uh, the because this particular specific post we have already published so it is already published but later on we are going to change it so when we are changing it is not going to update it the public version automatically so if you want to make it updated so you have to click on that update now what we are going to do we are um, let me go back a bit okay so we are trying to update and then once we have updated we are going back to our posts we are trying to select a different post and then in that different particular post we are trying to add that particular specific reusable block so if we now here we can give the slash and then we can give that particular specific um, what you can say that the name that we have given to our if you look at that this ninja cover the name that we have given to our usable block and if you look at the type it's also a reusable block so we can select that one and once we select it will automatically appear here the same thing so we have used that particular specific in a different again we are updating that particular specific page it is already published so if we go there we can see that particular usable block it's automatically added over there similarly we can go to the what you can say that the password protected page okay so this is also here now we can go to any page because we are using that reusable block into two different posts so we can go to any post and then we try to edit that particular specific so we can come down here we are trying to add that particular specific block okay so we are trying to add a paragraph what it uh, we are trying to add some list here yeah so we can add anything what we want but I am just trying to add a list here so it's a reusable block is changed in one post so new contents has been added in that reusable post re reusable block okay and once we update it um, so we save it so okay so we can save it and once we have saved that particular specific reusable block and then again if we go back to our uh, other post in which we have used that particular user to look at that that particular specific re the new content that we have added in the other post they are automatically updated in the other post as well so this is the reusable block that we can use in our posts or pages and multiple times wherever we require okay I think this is the same thing there so uh, I don't want to see that same movie again so the next week is the more uh, WordPress site administration so this next week it is more like that you are going to use that particular specific um, online course on the uh, LinkedIn learning and then you are going to learn that thing and you will automatically apply all those admin things to your assessment one so the one thing i would like to tell you that now on we will be um, at least for next three weeks uh, we will be having i will record the lecture i will put it on the model and then you can see it and then later on during the uh, before you come to the lecture uh, that is our scheduled time you uh see that particular specific lecture and then during the class timing i will be available on the collaborate modal collaborate okay i will send you an email about that and then we can discuss if you have any questions if you want to discuss things if you want to have some uh, confusions about around the lecture then i can i will be there to answer okay so have a good time bye